on hip hop. Right. I was dead. I sit 90 degrees underneath palm trees. Smoking BDs as I burn my calories. Brooklyn roof tops become Brooklyn TPs. Who that be? Enemy. Wanna see the death of me? Surprise, man. You, um, you know what I'm saying? Came from the highest selling group of all time. So, what's going on in your life, guy? Um, you know, doing, still doing this music thing, film. I just, um, last year I was really involved in this um, election down in Haiti. So I called my friend Michelle Martelly around February. I was like, you know what? You need to run for president of Haiti. Uh, my man, Sweet Mickey, a.k.a. Michelle Martelly, is the new president mm -hmm. of Haiti. So myself and Wycliffe, we were heavily involved with it. And, um, I'm done with that, so now I'm going back to my day job. Word, and that's music. Right. Before we jump right off of that, you know what I'm saying, let's uh, talk about that situation with the Sweet Mickey thing. You did a whole documentary, you know what I'm saying, following that, called Sweet Mickey. Yeah, I did a documentary called Sweet Mickey for President. Actually, we're about to start a heavy campaign starting next month, September. Mm. Um, we're going to go all the way with it. You mm. know, um, I have Sean Penn in it, Ben Stiller, Danny Glover, Nigel Walker, Wyclef, myself, Sweet Mickey, Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. And also you get to learn something about Haiti that a lot of people don't know mm -hmm. in this film. You got to see a part of Haiti and the history and the culture and the people that's gonna be mind boggling for people. Now it was a lot of people confused by the, the situation where you didn't support Wyclef on that, man. Just to clear up the air and everything, what, what was your um, intentions by you know what I'm saying? Saying that you, you didn't really think he was the best candidate. For to be quite honest with you, I didn't know Wyclef was going to run for president to two weeks before we were going to um, register. Mm. So, but I mean, me and Michelle or uh, Sweet Mickey been talking about this when I went to him and proposed the idea to him mm -hmm. February of last year. Mm -hmm. So for like five months, we've been plotting and planning this. And then two weeks before, I heard that Clef was going to run. Mm -hmm. So I had already gave word to my man. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to back out out of that. But secondly, it was at that moment, at that time, politically, I just didn't feel like Clef was the best candidate. Mm -hmm. Has nothing to do him and I personally. It was politics. Politics is different from personal. And, a lot, right. and I know a lot of black people don't understand that. Because mm -hmm. we're so emotional. Right. We, we, we put emotion in everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's business, there's politics, there's emotion, there's fun, there's, you know, and you don't really cross these. Mm -hmm. Some of these things don't really intermingle with one another. At the end of the day, if Prize decides to go with Michelle, and he felt that's what he wants to do politically, I can't dwell on that. I was, there's a lot of misconceptions about you, Prize, you know. So for the people that don't know, who is Prize? I mean, look, I can't explain who I am. In the interview, I think that um, people will soon find out, you know, because I'm still here. I didn't go and got buried on some ground six foot under, you know? Mm. Um, the industry is a very funny industry. So it's just a matter of like trying to reinvent yourself. So you you back on to the music. Million dollar question is, is the Fuji's ever gonna get back together for a reunion? Anything can happen, you know? I, I don't, it's nothing in the works right now. Mm. But who knows, you know? You down though, you know, just for the record though. Listen, I'm down with anything that's gonna be great, that's gonna make history, and that's gonna make money. Mm. I'm with it all the way. Mm. Only thing I won't do for money is wear a Speedo. Word, <laughs> don't do that, Prize. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't wear a Speedo. So Prize, man, you did a documentary, yeah. uh, Skid Row. Prize spends nine days on Skid Row with no money, no shelter, and no way out. My whole purpose of doing that was just to bring awareness. I'm, I, I'm a social activist. Mm. So I like, I'll try it, whatever, let's see, you know. And I, it just made me realize that at the blink of an eye, your life can change like this. It's, it's like you in some other world. It's, just, it's like a plague just hit. Being homeless is not a sexy topic, all right? Nobody cares because they're not in that position. Right, but it's just something that I felt like I had to do. And people who see it, you know, really respond to it. And it felt like it was something that kind of like touched them. They can relate to it, even though they never been homeless, but they can pick some things out that they can correlate with. 
What do you feel like the state of hip hop is right now? And is it still fun for you? Music is fun. Hip hop is, it's a different era, you know? I'm hip hop. Right. I was there. Mm. Break dancing in the streets. Mm. For real. I didn't jump on board like later on and all of a sudden I'm a hip hop connoisseur. I write in books and blogs about, no, no, no. I lived it. I was there when I was there when he was born. I was there live the first day. BLS and Kiss FM played the first hip hop record. When I say hip hop, I'm not talking about um, rappers delight. Mm. I'm talking about Run DMC, Sucker MC. Friday night, Saturday night, we used to tape Magic and um, Red Alert. Red Alert, I think it was on Kiss FM. We used to tape the hip hop shows and play for the whole week because that's the only time we heard hip hop. It was late at night from like 12 to 4. Best advice you ever got. Failure is only when you stop trying. That is. That is. Appreciate that prize. Like I always say, you just can't say you're real. It's something you gotta be, man. Prize, this is 50.com exclusive, man. Hey, do I have something in my eye? Y'all go to commercial. We out of here.